Home, Big Go, Extreme Bow, and Emotion all had promised that their version of the 16-inch suspension electric unicycle would be the best. And the patent had been patiently waiting for a competitor to show up. Now that we're finally on the verge of demo releases, let's dig in and talk about what make each and every single one of them different. This week, it's the ultimate preview on the coming battle of the 16-inch suspension wheel. Roll the intro. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and help spread the uni gospel. First, a quick shout out to my EUC accessory shop, MOSFET.com, where you can find E-Ride pedals and pads, and the latest release, the silver colorway, and of course, the long-awaited patent pedal. Now, if you're new to electric unicycle, the whole wheel size spiel is probably terribly confusing. What we commonly refer to as the class of 16 inch UCs actually measure 18 inch outside when you put a tape to it. The whole confusion started years ago when AOC used to run thinner two inch tires. And as riders start gravitating towards wider tires due to their improved stabilities, the outer diameter of the tire also grew. But because the rim remained the same size, we continue to refer to these wheels as 16 inch even though they really aren't anymore. But what haven't changed are the reason why people continue to ride these wheels, torque and agility, as exemplified so very well by the veteran patent. As much as I enjoy the veteran patent, there is one persistent complaint. At 90 pounds, it is rather hefty despite its compact size. And that is where the King Song S19 supposedly shines. At 70 pounds, it is still no lightweight. However, comparing to its peers of other high voltage suspension equipped electric unicycle, it is a featherweight by a good margin. The S19 also built on much of the strength of the S22. It carries a similar similar size battery pack and what likely remain one of the best battery management systems on the market currently. It is also based on the same cantilever arm suspension design which both accommodate aftermarket upgrades and adjustable geometries. As a result, if you're willing to mod and upgrade, could potentially offer the best suspension performance of any wheel. And finally, with the S19 being the third suspension wheel King Sun has released so far, Hopefully they had enough experience to work through most of the kinks so as to avoid problems that had came up in prior release. At 100 volt and with a top speed of 37 miles per hour, it is clearly configured for torque output rather than speed, but it's still likely to be fast enough for the majority of the, shall we say, more sensible riders out there. And for those who are willing to slow down and smell the flower, the S19 also come with a whole lot more LED decorative lighting and at least based on spec alone, the best built-in speaker of any wheels available. The biggest question around the S19 is whether or not Kingsong can ensure that the reliability issue that the S22 has suffered isn't going to repeat with their latest wheel release. There was a time when they used to produce the most reliable wheel on the market. The Kingsong 18XL, for instance, was one of the most reliable electric units cycle you can buy and I sincerely hope that they can get their engineering back into the groove again. Next, let's talk about Extreme Bolt, what used to be a parody brand that produced wheels mostly inspired by wheel releases from other companies, more specifically Veteran, with both Commander and Commander Pro feeling like cheaper and rushed copies of Sherman and Sherman S. That plus the fact that underneath it all, their wheels were designed and built by Bigo and very much right like one and you end up with kind of a mixed bags of questionable design and very little distinguishable characters or qualities but with the commander mini we're finally starting to see departure 
from simple imitation and hopefully the beginning of what appears to be more uniquely extreme bowl design. The CNC guardrails and casing recall element from the design of their earlier ill-fated X-Men wheels which was not terribly practical but certainly interesting looking. And despite their apparent similarities to the veteran wheels, the extreme bowl commander had always rolled very differently. Their Bagot DNA translate to different feedback, turning responses, and acceleration curve. That drastic difference in ride feels means that most riders often stick with one brand or the other. You either prefer veteran, or you ride big go or extreme bowl. And if you're in that latter category, then a 134 volt hydraulic suspension equipped 16 inch wheel, which is a combo that had already been proven by the veteran patent, should be an attractive buy. Especially since it appears to carry a slightly larger battery pack, a slightly more powerful motor at a slightly lower cost. A solid value proposition as long as it actually delivers on everything it promises. But even if it does, it may still not be enough. Devotees of the GOAT Gateway owes their true allegiance to nothing less than power and performances. And I suspect that Bigo will always reserve the very best of their design and engineering for their own wheels. And that wheel has a name and it's called the Bigo Extreme. A 134 volt 16 inch electric unicycle based on the same suspension platform as the Master and the T4 and the ninth suspension wheel Bigo release. But most importantly, it's equipped with the same torquey motor as the Bigo EX30. The wheel with the highest torque and fastest acceleration on the market right now and although wattage rating would be less, the smaller diameter wheel and lighter weight means that it will likely be even torquier. Having already experienced what the patent is capable of, it is no wonder that the prospect of mating even more power and torque to a 16 inch suspension equipped electric unicycle is exciting for any hardcore UC riders and of course it will come down to how well the suspension work and the wheel rides and the earlier gen big goal suspension wheel like the master and the master pro all suffer from frame rigidity problems which their latest release the ex30 did address however since the ex30 has such an unconventional battery mount configurations i hope that same set of fixes and reinforcement they introduced will carry over to the extreme as well but big goal has a lot riding on the success of the extreme string since they haven't had a hit since the original master and to that end have taken an unusually long time with the development of this wheel including the unusual move of reaching out to US based rider for feedback on improvements and of promise of true waterproof design a reason why there have been a lot of buzz about this wheel. Finally we have the yet to be announced Emotion V14 which will be one more 100 volt suspension equipped 16 inch wheel. However, according to rumor, it will be the first of the Emotion wheel to utilize a King Sound style lever arm based suspension design. Good news because Emotion have been lagging when it comes to their suspension design. It is the one weakness to the otherwise spectacular V13 release from last year. And like their past wheel releases, the V14 will likely be well designed and engineered, but will it be able to avoid the curse of the first batch wheel? Honestly, a question that is relevant to every single one of the new wheel releases since I don't think we had a single electric unicycle release over the past few years that had gone off without some kind of problems. Slipping motor statters, bad suspension slider, shearing motor bow bat firmware, I can go on. It is unfortunately the price we pay to ride the very bleeding edge of personal electric vehicle and I still marvel at the fact that we have the equivalent of the performance of a hundred 150cc motorcycle scooter inside of a package no larger than an airline carry-on luggage. But the fact remains that many riders still pushes these machines to the very edge of their capabilities and as a result every single bit of performance increase still contribute directly to the quality and safety of these wheels. So which of the 16 inch suspension wheel you're most anticipating and why? Well that is what the comment section below is for. 
And you know what? Once again, I ramble on too long and somehow managed to waste another 15 minutes of your life, but I hope you enjoyed it. Shout out to my supporter on Patreon. Please check out the link in the video description below if you enjoy and like to support my work. And as always, as much as we all love Electric Unicycle, the only way for us to get better wheels is to grow as a community. So tell your friends, teach them how to ride, and get them hooked. Until the next video, thank you.